Hi, this is John Lemesny, and I'm from beercritic.wordpress.com. This is the third of four wits that we are trying for um, summer wits on Twitter Taste Live. And the API has given us a lot of trouble tonight, but um, I am continuing on my quest. And the, the suggested third was uh, wit from um, Amagong, but I am switching to the uh, Harpoon Hefeweizen because I've, I've had it before and um, I enjoy the wit from Amagong a whole lot more so I'm just switching out because I think I'm going to uh, enjoy that as my final brew of the evening so here is Harpoon's UFO I think this is kind of a quirky take you know, I, I, I'm not really crazy about the labeling, um, just like I'm not really crazy about the beer. Uh, I wish Harpoon was more reliably great, but I, in my estimation, the, I've, I've not enjoyed what they put out. And um, I know other people swear by it. They, they really like it. I think that these tend to be a little bit lighter. I'm going to try and keep an open mind tonight, though. So... Nice wide shot here. Listen to the crack. And I'll tell you what I smell in this brew that um, immediately is sort of turning me off, is I smell a lot of corn. A lot of corn. And um, to me, that means fillers. And fillers are never good. Never good. So, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to experience this as part of a contrast to see what I'm really enjoying in the other brews comparative to this but um, I'm also sort of disgusted when not only are they not paying attention to the the tradition of the brew but they're very specifically obviously trying to save money and um, you know craft beer is not about saving money it's about making sure that you have a great product and I, um, not especially thrilled about this product right now. Let's see what the color's like. Just like the others we've had tonight, it's, uh, pretty pale yellow. A lot of cloudiness. Here's the head. Quickly dissipating head, which again is something that, um, doesn't exactly thrill me. I'm, I'm not thrilled about that. I do like the body. Nice color. Nice cloudiness. Let's see what the taste does. The aroma is corn, uh, hay, A lot of um, it just reminds me of fillers. There's no chemical aroma, which is good, but there's nothing that's really enticing. It almost smells like a Miller Genuine Draft or a Budweiser. That's not supposed to. It's supposed to smell like cloves and uh, bananas, and it's supposed to smell like something different, and it's not. It's unfortunate. Let's give it a taste. It's crisper than the other two. It um, 
is tingly, but to be honest with you, it tastes an awful lot like, like a Bud Light, or, you know, it, it's really just not very good. Um, it has some flavor to it, but the flavor is mostly the sort of common, um, malts that you find in macro brew, things like corn and rice, and um, it, it's just not very exciting. I'm sorry. Uh, Harpoon, you should consider making a lager, because that's what this tastes like. See ya.